Hi, I'm Alana, Senior Product Manager for the Monitor Stage here at GitWeb. I am creating two separate videos. This is part two of two for reviewing Grafana on call. If you haven't already, I'd recommend watching part one of two, which kind of goes over general features and screenshots. This is a dive into more of the actual product in its blank state, diving a little bit deeper into some of the things that we saw in that initial presentation. So as you can see, I'm in a cloud-based instance of um, Grafana, and I'm in the public beta preview of Grafana on call. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with integrations. We saw, um, we saw that there's a lot of different options for integrations um, directly within Grafana on call, ranging from things like New Relic, Pingdom, um, but also just Prometheus and Grafana. But what's nice and what I like about the way that they have this set up is they have integrations and then you go ahead and jump right into your alert routes. And then you can also have your escalation policy right there. So let's create an alert chain or escalation chain. Let's just call it basic. And then we would start adding Adding, adding steps to that escalation policy right away. There's gonna be some, some issues because I am in a blank state, um, kind of just getting right out of the box, but I did wanna show what this looks like. Then they also have the option to add routes. So you can send alerts to different escalation policies and different escalation chains based on um, some regex using Python. I did go ahead and send a demo alert um, because I don't have an alert set up to, um, to an incident. So you'll see we have three alerts and three incidents. These are all right here. This is really, so this view, this incident view is really similar to the incident list view that we have in GitLab incident management. They do have some things um, that we don't have like um, the status of the alert, but also the ability to acknowledge and resolve the incident and alert directly from one view. I saw in some other screenshots that they have multiple alerts that can be tied to a singular incident. And they do have just some overall summary metrics up at the top to help users kind of address and identify what's going on within, within their instance. And then they have some nice filters where you, you can also filter by specific integrations depending on what you're hoping to look at. Let's jump over to Slack. I don't have this set up, um, but it is kind of the one and only chat ops that they are offering right now. Let's go ahead and take a look at schedules. So. We saw with on-call schedules, there was an event view and you could see you could see things one day at a time. I was really curious because I did notice that they had a Google Calendar integration, kind of what that looked like and how um, they set that up. So if we look at this modal, they, are, they have the ability to pull in schedules using a calendar app. It can be Google, Microsoft, and that's how you create your on-call shift. So you're not doing anything natively directly within, um, within Grafana on-call itself, which I thought was a really interesting approach. They also have overrides um, directly coming from that integration. And then you again, they have a pretty deep, tight integration directly with Slack. So that was just a quick overview of everything blank. Um, if you want to take a closer look at some more of the product um, and just get a general overview of the features, I recommend watching part one of two, but this concludes part two of two. Thank you.